Hey ballers, so I've been thinking about a um, video that Joel Howley put in the Joel Howley thread, which is probably where this video is right now anyway. And thinking about some of his points and just kind of wanted to give uh, my understanding of it and hopefully it'll be informational to some of you. And if I get some of it wrong, Adam Cord will send me hysterical text messages telling me that I'm smoking crack. Uh, first of all, uh, when people draw stuff on the whiteboard or Joel does it on his notepad, everybody does the pendulum. So if you're sitting in the boat, if you're sitting in the boat, that's kind of what you see. The skier goes back. It's kind of like watching tennis, right? Uh, do I think this drawing has value? Well, it does if you go like this and then like this, and that's a drawing that my daughter would make. Um, besides that, no, I don't think the pendulum is very, very awesome. The, uh, the way I like to think about this is um, as a sine wave. Now, my wife will tell you that's not a sine wave. You can't really see that, can you? Can you see that good enough? Let me use a different color. Is that better? Yeah, sure. All right, cool. So that's with the boat. The boat's here. Psh, trying to do it just as, at least as good as Joel's boat. Oh crap, Joel's boat might be better. Pylon, whatever. There's a center line. So if you're in a drone flying over the boat and you're watching, this is kind of what you see from, from ball to ball. And yes, you'll probably see a little bit more angle over here and a little bit less angle over there, but it is two arcs connected, roughly, high level. I know, I know, there's, there's other stuff, but for the point of this. So my point here is, and one of the things that um, I coach a lot, and I'm, I'm not really sure why everybody doesn't understand this, but as you pass center line, and this is one of the things that Joel and I were talking about, as you pass center line, the arc goes from here, and this is the way your ski is going, you know, when you're coming into the wakes, your ski is trying to go Really, it's trying to go away from the pylon, right? It's trying to pull away. It's pulling away, pulling away, pulling away. And when you get past center, every inch, millimeter, micron, whatever you want, past center line you're going, the path of the handle is arcing this way. So if your ski is still trying to go this way and the handle is going this way, what do you think is going to happen? Well, if you're wicked strong, you can hold on for a ways. And honestly, most people are on their away edge. They're showing the bottom of the ski to the boat past center line. I mean, you kind of have to. But increasingly, as you pass this point, the handle's getting pulled off your hip. So one of the many things that can go very wrong, that's going to make you go kind of fast and narrow into the ball is pulling long. Now, uh, inquiring to some, some super high-end skiers about this, about why skiers at 39 and 41 pull longer, the answer to that is they can't really start making speed until here. So if they don't pull out into here, they can't get high on the boat. But if you're at 22 off, 28, 32, 35, even 38 off skier, you should be trying to make speed early. So right after here, you're off your down edge. So that's kind of my, this is kind of my rebuttal to, uh, to Joel's uh, questioning the idea that I'm trying to be off edge as soon as possible. I feel like if I make speed early enough, I will edge change early enough. If I stall out here at the ball, I will have to pull long. And if I pull long, my ski's going one direction and the handle's going another. There's no way for me not to become overloaded and either lose control, have the handle come off my hip, all kinds of bad things. So that's it. It's all I got for today. Just kind of laying in bed the other night thinking about this. It's kind of like that, uh, that whole thing with a husband and wife laying in bed together and the husband's thinking and the wife's like, he's thinking about other women and the husband's like, I'm thinking about my edge change. It's that thing. Thank you guys.